Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating this makeup look using the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay Palette Kaleidoscope Dream Palette. So if you'd like to learn, then go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so today we're going to be filming with the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope Dream Palette. And I'm so excited about this. I actually bought this palette and then for some reason, I don't know why, but like it was like I didn't buy it. Um, it never came out of my account. I kept looking. I never got an email from them. And then so I had to go buy it again and then they charged me twice. But it's all good now. It was kind of weird. Like I don't know the situation. It was really weird. But it was like a week later it had never came out of my account. I never got a confirmation email. And then when I put it through again, it charged me twice which was really weird but you know whatever things happen but before we get into the palette I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the face items first so I'm gonna be going in with this essence bronzer in the color 01 natural and I'm gonna be picking up my Sigma F20 brush and just going in and I'm gonna be bronzing up my face with this you guys know the drill and I'm running out of this product so I have to keep dipping into it just to get it to show up but this is my favorite bronzer. It's not too orange. It's not too dark or cool toned on my face. Alright, so now that we're nice and bronzed, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. bronzer in the color Light Matte. And I'm actually going to be using this to contour with. So I'm going to be taking this Morphe M437 brush and now I'm going to contour my cheeks very lightly and I'm going to go back in it a couple times to tap it off. And this brush just fits so perfect right there in your cheekbone area. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking my Luxie 514 blush brush. And I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Geek Blush. And this is in the color XOXO. And I'm going to be dipping into that. And this is super pigmented. Tapping it off and then going on the apples of my cheeks. And the foundation that I have on today is the Luscious Cosmetics Camera Stick Foundation. And I mixed it with the e.l.f. Um, acne fighting foundation and I love these two foundations together and I love them both by themselves. but one is too dark for me one is too light for me so I mix them together and it's just the perfect combination I just love it and now I'm just looking like really blushy today so I'm just gonna go in because I added way too much and just go in with my little sponge that I used and maybe dilute it a little bit if that's a good word to use all right, so now I'm going to go in with my Hard Candy Matte Sheer Envy Setting Spray. And I'm going to spray my entire face with this. And I just love this setting spray. Like, I love the smell of it. It gets all over my face with the type of spray it is. It does not make me look matte, which is totally okay with me because I do not like to look matte. But it just, it smells so nice. I like, wish I had this in like a perfume scent. All right, so right now I'm just letting it semi-dry. I don't like it to dry fully because I'm gonna put on my highlighter. I always like to set my face before doing my highlight. It just makes it look more poppin'. All right, so now I'm gonna be going in with the Artist Couture Highlighter in the Diamond Glow Powder in the color Illuminati. And I love this highlighter so much. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna be taking my little Morphe M510 brush and I'm dipping into that and just highlighting the hell out of my face because I want to look like a disco ball. And this is so pigmented, so you do have to go light-handed at first or you can look very crazy. And now I'm just picking up a small little brush and dipping into that and then going down my nose. I like to use a small brush just because it makes it a little bit more precise and I feel like it makes it more pigmented as well. Alright, so now it's time for this beautiful palette. I'm so excited, like words cannot describe how excited I am. So I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope palette. It looks like this. It's so beautiful. It has some nice little purple colors some pinky blue gold colors and I love the names of them this one is called Tahine 
Um, I actually do not like tahini. I've tried it a million times. It just it's disgusting. And then we have Lime Time. We have Spitfire LCW. I forgot. She said what the names of these are, but I kind of forgot. And then we have Leo and Brixton. I think it was Braxton. Brixton? Yes, Leo and Brixton, which is her dogs, which is so sweet. And then we have Corona, Die, and then 13th Floor, which is this black color. 13th Floor literally just looks like the most pigmented black, so I'm really excited to use that as well. So it actually comes with a little cute brush, and I like used this on my hand, and it literally feels like the softest brush I have ever felt in my life. So I'm going to be going in with it. It has a fluffy side and a little creasy side. So the first color I'm going to go in is Tahine. So I'm going to be using this Tahine color, which is an orange color. And I'm going to be putting this into my crease. And we're going to see how it looks. And ooh, so far. And I just very lightly dipped into that. That's like really pretty. So I'm going to go in again with it. I'm going to blend this into the crease. This brush, guys, holy crap, this brush is really soft. Like, I know it's just like a regular brush, but it's so soft. Oh my god. It's like blending out so easily as well. And I'm just making this color pretty decently pigmented. And I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do yet with this look. I'm just kind of going with the flow. And I kind of want to use like every single color, but... I know that's not going to happen, so I'm just going to kind of do what's whatever works. Okay, I really don't understand how this brush is so soft. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but this brush is like, it's fucking super soft. Okay, I kind of want to go in with the color Spitfire in my crease. I really don't know how this is going to work out because it is a shimmer color, but I kind of just want to use it in my crease. So I'm just going to be taking this Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty brush and I'm dipping into the color Spitfire which is that pink color of course. And I'm going to start blending this a little bit lower into my crease because I just kind of want to use it a little bit and I don't want it to be like too pigmented but I just want to be like I used it. If that makes any sense? Alright, so far it's actually showing up pretty nicely. It's not too pigmented. But I did just want it to be a little bit in the crease. I do see that this would be really pretty once it's on like a flat brush. But that looks really pretty so far. And normally I'm like totally against using shimmers into your crease. But we're just going to go with the flow today. I'm just going to go in a little bit more just to make it a little bit more pigmented. This color is so pretty. It's like really neon and vivid. I don't think I have a color like this in my life. This is just like so pretty. And it honestly doesn't look bad in the crease either. Like I was kind of scared, but I was just going with the flow. But it looks pretty dang nice. All right, we're probably about to go into some crazy colors. And this is going to be a crazy makeup look. But I'm going to be going in with the color LCW on this flat brush. And it is this light blue color right here. I'm dipping into this color and then I'm going to be picking up my brush. I do this with every shimmer color so I want to give this color a fair chance. And I spray my brush and then kind of go back into it. I'm going to be putting this like on the inner and outer part but not in the middle. And ooh, that color is so pigmented and bright and... Ooh, that is so, that looks good. And actually, I'm going to go in a little bit closer to this mirror right here, just so I can see what I'm doing. With this color. Ooh, 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 this, this is pretty. You honestly don't even have to dip into it a lot. It's just so pigmented. Shit. And I'm going to take it into like the top part of the crease in the middle area, but not into the actual middle lid area. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this really small flat brush. This is the Morphe M2. 1-3 brush and I'm going to go into the color Stay Gold 
right here and dip into that color. This looks like the most beautiful gold. I'm gonna, of course, spray it. And this is gonna go in the middle part of the lid. All right, so now I'm just wiping off this brush and I'm gonna go in with the other side of it and I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is Leo. And it's like a blue, whitish, shimmery shade right here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but these are two different colors. And I'm just gonna be laying that right into the middle part where we just put that gold at. And of course, I'm spraying my brush and just laying it in the middle to kind of give it like different effect, possibly. I don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, it's showing up. Probably can't see it on camera, but it does look like really cool. Oh my gosh, that looks super awesome. All right, so now I'm just gonna go back in with that first blue color we used and kind of blend those two shades together. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the bullet side of the brush and I'm gonna dip into the color dye, which is this purple color right here. And it is a shimmer color and this is not something I would normally do with shimmer colors, but I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna put this on the outer part of my eyes just to kind of fade that blue into the crease. I'm just gonna go in with the fluffy side and kind of blend that together and I'm gonna be honest guys like these eyeshadows did not give me like a lot of fallout that purple color kind of did right here but I don't know pretty good not a lot of fallout I'm just going in a little bit more just to kind of make it a little bit more pigmented and I didn't know we were going for a rainbow look today but I'm actually really loving this look I feel like my camera is like way too bright so I don't know if you guys can see like all the true colors which kind of makes me sad but you know life happens. So I'm going to go in with this little brush and just kind of wipe away some of that fallout and then I'm going to go in with my sponge just to kind of fix it up a little bit. Alright so I'm going to go back in with that little bullet brush and I'm actually going to put this under my waterline. And holy shit, that was way more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. Alright, so I'm going to be picking up this little blending brush and dipping into that Spitfire color, which is the pink color, and just kind of going through to kind of help blend that out. And this is actually blending really easy. And those two colors together make like a really cool effect under the eyes. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit and go back into that Spitfire just to add it a little bit more dramatic. Okay, so now I'm just picking up this green color right here and I just sprayed my brush and I'm gonna be putting this on the inner corner area of my eyes. All right, so now I'm just wiping off my brush as much as I can. And I'm gonna be going on the other side of that brush and dipping into the color Brixton, which is the white color in the palette. And I'm gonna be spraying my brush again and then dipping into it again and just putting that actually on the inner corner to give a little highlight right there. And then I'm gonna put this on my brow bone as well. All right, so I just took my It Cosmetics No Tug Liner and just put it in my waterline. And now I'm gonna be going in with my e.l.f. mascara. And this is just, it's their mineral infused mascara and just putting this on my top and bottom lashes. I'm not gonna do eyeliner today because I'm not in the mood to mess this up because I'm really liking this look. All right, so now I'm gonna be going in with this Pixie Beauty lipstick, and this is in the color Evening Rose. And they actually just sent these over to me, and I had no idea that they were gonna send them over to me. 
but these lipsticks are amazing. They smell beautiful. Some are infused with, I believe, like rose or some other cool stuff, but like these, they just went on to my lips so easily. I used it the other day and it lasted all day. Like I ate, I had yogurt, I had salad, I had a cookie, I had chips, I had a bunch of junk food and then it still looked beautiful like at the end of the day. Alright, so that is the completed look. I just want to say thank you Kristen and Lee Ann for creating this amazing palette and congratulations to you girl. This is amazing. I just love you and I love that you created this amazing palette. This is such a dream come true. I'm going to be honest, this is probably going to be like my new favorite palette. I'm going to use this all the time now. So thank you Urban Decay and Kristen for creating such an amazing palette. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Please make sure to give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video.